Hi everyone. Today I am going to tell you a very short story. I mean something about Rishi Vishwamitra and how he got his Brahmatva. That's it. So let me begin. You know Vishwamitra uh, by birth was a Kshatriya. So how did he get this Brahmatva? It's a beautiful story. So let me begin. Uh, Vishwamitra was the son of King Gadhi. So after Gadhi he became the king. Now one day um, Vishwamitra was a very good king. He loved his subject and he was very fond of hunting. One day he went uh, forest for hunting and there uh, with his first troop he had gone. Now there after a while he felt uh, very thirsty and hungry also. So with his uh, vast army he searched a place where he could get something. That time he saw the um, a hermitage, a ashram and he went there. That was the ashram of Rishi Vasishtha. When Vasishtha saw Vishwamitra, he became very happy and immediately he uh, paid his respect and offered him food, uh, drinks, everything. Vishwamitra was very happy after uh, getting the delicious food and drinks. But at the same time, he was very curious to know okay, how could it is, uh, how could a Rishi get this type of delicious food in this forest? And who prepared this? So out of curios curiosity, he asked the sister, okay, oh, Rishi, tell me, how did you get uh, such an uh, amount of food and so delicious even I never ate this type of food in the royal palace it is so good then my sister Rishi smiled and he said that this is because of Kamadhir only the Vishwamitra was very happy and he was also very much interested to take Kamadhir so he said he, oh Rishi uh, let me take this Kamadhenu and in exchange of that I will give you hundred and thousands of gold coins if, if you want my kingdom, half of the kingdom and the um, um, kind, whatever you want, I will give you but give me this Kamadhenu. Then my sister said, Ki, O king, I cannot live without Kamadhenu, I cannot be separated from her. When he said that, King Vishwamitra became very angry and he applied his force. He applied his force to that extent that lastly Kamadhenu cried before my sister and asked uh, him, Ki, Oh father, uh, why you are not protecting me? Then my sister said, Ki, Oh Kamadhenu, you know that I am just a simple Brahmin and uh, if you want you apply your force and save yourself. When, uh, and that too I forgive everybody. When he said this, Kamadhenu now created her own force and it was so vast, the, without a very short time, uh, the army of Kamadhenu destroyed and smashed the uh, total army of Vishwamitra. Vishwamitra was badly defeated by this army. At last, defeated by Vasishtha, means whatever it is, it was by Vasishtha only. Defeated by um, the Kamadhenu's army, Vishwamitra went back to his kingdom and there he left everything. He thought that, then what is the value of a king? If a Brahmin has that much of power that without any way he could control the such a vast army and such uh, power, then why I will not do that and I will not get it? Then Kshatriya is nothing in front of um, Brahmatva. So he left everything and went to forest for meditation. There he started hard penances and austerities. After many years, Lord Brahma appeared before him and said, Ki, Oh, Vishwamitra, I am happy with your 
meditation. Now, means tapasya. Now you have already obtained rusitya. I am giving you rusitya and now you go. Because that time he was a king only. So he said, Ki, get this rusitya and go back. Then, uh, by that hour, Vishwamitra was not happy. Brahma went away. But Vishwamitra once again started hard penances. Looking at his penance and uh, austerities, Indra Dev was very much worried because Indra was always jealous of anybody who does any tapasya because he was scared ki the person will snatch his Indra path from him. So he asked Menka to go and break his meditation. Now Menka was a beautiful apsara, you know that. So she came to Leo Viswamitra and she was uh, with a very mane, alluring body. She appeared before Viswamitra and Viswamitra was couldn't, Viswamitra couldn't control his scent and uh, he was uh, lured by Menka. Then he spent many years with Menka and at last they both were uh, blessed with a daughter whose name was Sakuntara. She was beautiful. Somehow, suddenly one day, Viswamitra realized this is the trick of Indradev. So he got very furious and <coughs> looking at his uh, angry face, Menka was completely she was trembling and she joined her hand and stood in one side. Then Viswamitra, uh, Viswamitra uh, felt very sorry for Menka and let her go. Now once again he started his penances. But this time it was harder, it was severe. He stood on the summer season in one leg in front of the blazing fire. In the winter he entered into the chilled water and started his uh, meditation. Then in uh, rainy season, without any cover, he stood. Like this, he went on for 1,000 years. He did his tapasya. While he did this, once again, uh, what is Indra was very much scared and he asked Rambha to come and break his tapasya. But Rambha, when she heard, she said, Ki, Oh Lord, you know that um, Vishwamitra Rishi is very short temper. And usually he, uh, give, uh, he gives curse anyone. So please don't ask me to break his um, penances. But Indra was adamant and he forced Rambha, don't worry, you go. I will be there with Kamdev and nothing will happen to you. So ultimately Rambha agreed, but she had no choice. So she came and when she stood before Vishwamitra, that time Indra and Kamdev, uh, Indra was in the form of a cuckoo and he sat on a branch. Kamdev was with Manskandarpa, um, God of Love, was with him, Indra Dev. Then Vishwamitra when he saw uh, Rambha, he got furious and immediately he cursed her, ki, oh Rambha, here and now you will become a stone. Then Rambha cried and told him everything and uh, once again Vishwamitra felt pity for her and said, ki, well, after 100 years uh, a Brahmin will save you from this curse. Thus, Viswamitra once again started his finances and out of pure this Indra Dev and Kandarp means God of love, they went away. They couldn't dare to stand before Viswamitra. Now what happened? Now Viswamitra, after getting, um, after the departure of um, Indra Dev and Kandev once again, Viswamitra started his hard penances and austerities. But this time, he felt very, before starting this, he felt very bad. He knows, still now I couldn't control my anger. That means 
my all my sense organs are not under my control that means i am not fit for brahmatva lord brahma told me that i have to control the sense organs because very easily i am allured by the uh, beautiful ladies and that too uh, this time i got angry so i am not going to get angry anymore thus he started his penances and austerities that time after a hundred years uh, one day uh, yes after one uh, thousand years he decided to take food and when it was completed one thousand year he just cooked some food rice that time indra dev came to uh, taste viswamitra in the form of brahma lord brahma he came to viswamitra and said i want some um, rice then immediately viswamitra without a second thought gave whatever rice he cooked to brahma means indra indra became very happy and went away now viswamitra thought that he no more uh, this much is not enough i am going to do harder penances from this so he sat in yoga for and went on by that the meteors started falling from the sky and the volcano started erupting the whole earth shook so badly when his power was so powerful his tapasya was so powerful now all the gods with indra they requested lord brahma to come and do something otherwise everything will be destroyed by the power of even we can't stay uh, everything will be destroyed with the power of viswamitra now brahma came and brahma with all the gods they came to viswamitra and said ki oh viswamitra stop now you are you are done now you will get the brahmatva he blessed him and viswamitra got brahmatva but one thing indra told him ki if anybody will not viswamitra said ki i want brahmatva in all the uh, vedas that to i will acquire the knowledge that also brahma agreed now indra they told him ki anybody who will not uh address him as uh, brahmarshi then if he turn his back means if viswamitra turns his back towards the person he will born to ashes then viswamitra became very happy and after getting brahmatva from lord brahma he fast went to rishi vasishta when he entered into his ashram when vasishta rishi saw viswamitra he said ki o oh, rajarshi come come and take your seat then viswamitra became very angry but at the same time he thought that if i turn my back to this rishi vasishta then he will be born out into ashes but what i will gain by uh, killing destroying such a great brahmarshi the moment it entered into his heart immediately vasishta could come to know because he was a brahmarshi he knew everything so immediately he said ki o oh, brahmarshi come come and take your seat i want to talk to you he went and hold his hand and very affectionately he uh, asked him to come with him and sit with him now viswamitra understood that really what is a brahmarshi because vasishta didn't have any anger which was with viswamitra because of this anger and uh, temptation all these things he couldn't become brahmarshi first but later part he got it anyways thank you so much once again i will tell you some of the story from some part of mythology thank you